Welcome villagers to this month's New Moon Solar Eclipse Healing Vibes Update. The solar eclipse brings a special energy to the New Moon reading, so I thought I would do something a little bit different. I have prepared a reading from the Akashic Records in service of the 77 Global Village community. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Sit patiently as the records are revealed before you. A moment of healing reflection to align yourselves with the holy light that shines within each of you. Enlightenment is not something to strive for or work towards. It is to be remembered. You are all enlightened beings. Your nature is light. Your essence is light. So how could you be anything other than enlightened? The gifts you bring to this world are your unique expressions of the light that you already are. No need to look very far, for the answers are written on your hearts. Building bridges across the turbulent waters to rise above the noise and confusion and take refuge on peaceful shores. Shedding the old worn out skins of pain and suffering. Opening your hearts, making new connections. Old relationships fall away and there is a time of grieving. This is a natural response to loss. And yet the new space you create will soon be filled with new, more nurturing relationships, inspiring new dreams. Make peace with the shadow. The light plays with the dark to create images that reflect back to you what you need to know for your healing. Shadow and light are very revealing. This be your own personal revelation. Love the light, but also love the shadows, for they teach you about what is in need of transforming. We yearn so much for the day we can truly relax knowing that the world is a safe place to be. If we could just get rid of the shadows, then we could finally be free. The shadows and the light are both in service of your transformation. It is only our judgments that have us seeking for one while running away from the other. Turn towards the shadow and shine your light and you will find your strength and courage. Judgment is the mind's way of dealing with anxiety. Fear and anxiety have become normalized to the point that when we feel at peace for a moment, it is unrecognizable and we think something isn't right and anxiety starts up again. The biggest challenge is to recognize what true peace really feels like and to allow the time necessary to anchor it fully. Peace is a practice. Reconnecting with the books of wisdom. Seek higher knowledge and inspiration. Where you put your attention, the energy flows. If you desire more peace, then set your attention on peaceful practices. Higher knowledge and wisdom needs to be put into practice in order to manifest the desired creation. Pick one simple practice that invokes truth, beauty, peace, love, or whatever you desire more of and attend to that one thing daily and watch your garden grow. As more souls remember to focus on the beauty and wonder of this world, Soon you will only see and experience beauty and wonder. A child's innocence, tempered with mature wisdom. And now you understand why the Buddha is laughing. The illusion of mind melts in the heart of truth. What does our higher self want us to know about from the Akashic Records? Turning the pages of time. The veil is thin 
and there are many intersecting timelines. Moving corridors of time as they intersect, a portal opens and you have an opportunity to make new choices and decisions about how you want to live. What do you allow yourself to receive and what do you give? Take care of your bodies as they are the temples that house your Holy Spirit. As you care for yourself with respect and reverence, you will begin to authentically care for the world around you. Be kind to yourself and kindness becomes a way of life. Everything begins within. Listen for the whispers of wisdom on the wind. Your higher self is speaking to you through many channels. Listen with your whole heart and your body will respond. As you become attuned to your body, you will realize it is a natural lie detector. Your body feels what is true and responds with open gratitude. Trust your whole self. Every aspect is a divine instrument. This new moon solar eclipse has unleashed and unlocked latent creativity. Experiment with your creative genius. Explore what brings you joy. There are so many new energies birthing on this earth. Tap into the foundations of the world and explore your awakening creativity. Thinking, quote, outside of the box is a limiting belief now. There is no box. You are completely free. Let your spirit move you. Chant, sing, dance, paint, meditate, play with your spirit in any way that feels good and honoring. You are safe to explore the magical being that you are. There are two worlds existing simultaneously, one that is gripped in fear and one that is breaking free of the chains and limitations, a world born of love. Which world do you live in? The world born of love has an open door policy. All are welcome in any moment you choose. These are exciting times to create and explore the more of who you are becoming. May beauty surround you and remind you of the love that you are. Be blessed and be at peace. So be it. Blessed and dismissed with love. Namaste.